Hey guys, I am going to be doing a nightly routine video today. I'm excited because I feel like this is my old setup, you know, back in like 2006, where it was very simple. But I feel like videos now are just so high production, they're just so amazing, and I don't have time to do all that, and I just feel like it's just too much for me. I don't know, I'm more about like the stuff in the video, and I just can't keep up with all the fancy production stuff. So I'm really excited to have this little video, set up a light, camera, and my stuff, and I'm ready to share with you my nighttime routine um, stuff that I absolutely need, love, and use, and then some things that I'm trying out. So right now I just got out of the shower, and then I have nothing on my face. This is just me. And then I actually been growing out my eyebrows. It's funny because a lot of people used to tell me that I need to grow out my eyebrows. And then when they grew out, there was just like three little pieces down here and then a bunch of little bits down here. And it's just kind of like, there's no way to reshape. This is it. So anyway, and let me know if you want to see a threaded video again. And then if not, that's cool. I'm still threading. Okay, so the first thing that I have been using forever is my Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I love this. I only use this to remove my makeup and the dirt and oil on my face. I know sometimes you do the makeup remover and then you do the um, cleansing on your face. I just use this. I put this on my face in the shower or like beforehand and then I just kind of gently do all of this and then I rinse. So it says here, apply this first. You can watch your makeup like melt off. It's pretty cool. And then for my eyes, I just use my Glamit makeup remover. You can use like a makeup remover, like a, what else is there? Lancome, Neutrogena, whatever you normally use. Then another item. This is something that I've been using for about 14 days, and I really like it. This is the Mr. Blanc Minty Fresh Teeth Whitening Strip. Now, I used to use a lot of whitening strips, and they were just a pain in the butt, and I just, I would stop, like literally midway so I would be like right there at the seventh day and then I would just not use it anymore but these right here I really really like these right here um you start to see results within 14 days so here's you I've been using it for 14 days I can stop now but the great thing was when I first used it I felt like my teeth are really clean I felt like I saw a difference and I felt a difference you know like that feeling where you go out of the dentist and you leave and you're like oh it's just so clean, they're just so clean. That's how I felt, and I really like this because I either do this at night or on my drive to work. My drive to work is now 45 minutes. So when I'm home, I'm like, so tired, so tired. I don't wanna do anything. But I like this because it stays in place. So I, so I can do this whenever. I haven't done it today because I wanted to show you guys, but it um, comes in a strip like this, and they stay in place which is what I love, and it doesn't give me any of those like cuts, like I don't have any of those like yucky things on my gums, because I used to use them and they're like cut out. So this doesn't do that. It doesn't go anywhere, and it's super easy. Once I'm done, I just kind of brush my teeth, and then that's it, nice and white. So I really like these right here. This is the Mr. Blanc Minty Fresh Teeth Whitening Strips. And then there's a coupon code below, but I do recommend it because you don't get the cuts. My teeth aren't sensitive. It's minty fresh and it doesn't move. Let's see if I can show you guys. So yeah, look, they're so white and they feel so clean and they're not sensitive. I can still eat my ice cream. So coupon code and link is below for that. Now my next thing, I just started using this ever since I got my eyebrows threaded, so like six months ago, this is the Witch Hazel, the Witch Hazel, this is Witch Hazel. It says here compared to TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel, you can get this at Target, and I use this to tone my face after I get out of the shower. Yeah, so I get, I was trying to see if there's something I use in between. Wash my face, and then I get out of the shower and I use this. So I would sometimes break out depending on like um, the environment or change of water. Like if I go somewhere, my gosh, my face is really bad. So I started looking into it and it said to wash your face with bottled water or use a toner. And then it also said wash your hair with bottled water. So I tried that because it's such a controlled amount. I know that I'm not gonna be like wasting water, uh, like good water. 
and it really does work. Like if you can do bottled water to wash your face, I highly recommend it. Like the spring water, if you can't and you're like, okay, that's ridiculous, then I recommend getting a toner. This was only $1.99. You can get this at Target and it's a regular toner. It removes your makeup. Like in any time there's like makeup deep in your pores and your face wash can't get it, then you just use your toner and it removes all of the dirt, oil, remnants from the bathtub water. So for $1.99, this is a totally great substitution for like your fancy toners. And this one is 86% witch hazel astringent. It says here, gently cleanses and conditions your skin, helps soothe and release minor skin irritations. So I recommend just putting it on like a little spot and then see how your skin reacts. My skin, totally fine. This is like my second bottle right here. $1.99, oh my gosh, it's like so inexpensive. Then what I do after is I, it kind of depends on my mood. Like if I'm totally breaking out a lot, then I will do this first. But if I am just going to bed like nighttime, now my skin right now is probably at its worst because I am on the period, but it's so much better. And that's why I wanted to share this routine. This has been my set routine and I'm like, oh, I just love it. Okay, so my next thing is I use Emerylise Moisturizer. I use the Embryo Derm. I don't really use the Creme because I have dry, dry skin. So I use Balm Riche. Look at this. Like, I'm eating this stuff. So I wanted to show you guys. This is what I have. And then I'm going to squeeze the rest out here because I want to put some on. Right when you get out of the shower, um, after the shower, after you tone, um, if you do like any other things like that, do that then your moisturizer so I put the moisturizer on kind of squeezed out a little bit because I wanted to get the last bit of this but what I like to do is, this is way too much but I like to do it when my face is still a little damp and I find that that really helps keep in the moisture on your skin you literally feel a, like I don't even know how to explain it but your skin's always so dewy and moist versus like super super dry skin and then you put the moisturizer on it. It's like, it's like just totally sucks it up. Try it with your skin wet. Like that's why they sell, you know, like the Mac Fix Plus, the Evian water, to spray a little bit or put a little bottle of water into a spray to replicate like an Evian. And it's so nice. Our skin just feels so moisturized and youthful. So this is what I do on my face. I don't have a mirror, so. I have like a little white clown face. So be it. Okay, sorry I had to move the camera because the light was like in my eyes. So I'm like looking over here because I can't look like directly in the lens. But I can now. Woo! It was really hard. So, okay. So now that I have moisturized my skin, you can do this beforehand. This is my favorite eye cream. It's the Clinique All About Eyes Rich. You got to get the rich one. This is the one my mom uses. So I copied her. She doesn't have any wrinkles. Insane. I've been using it, you can see. And what I do, some people say that you could use your regular moisturizer, some people say you can't. I just really like this thick, creamy formulation. So I'm going to use that and I just dab this around my eye area. I think I used too much again. Should have grabbed a mirror, Elisa. But you can see how dry, <laughs> but you can see how dry my skin is that they like these moisturizers just soak right up. And moisturized. So then the next thing that I do, um, like I said, depending if I have really bad acne or what's going on, I tried Neutrogena, I've tried Noxzema, Oxytan, I don't know, like everything on the counter. And this has worked for me for the last 10 years. This is tea tree oil, straight up tea tree oil. I know some people are like, oh, don't use that. Don't use it, go buy this. So I used to use the Body Shop one. And then you look at the ingredients, there's a ton of other stuff on there that some of the things, I don't know what it's saying, I don't understand it. And so what I do is I just take this and first I get a Q-tip, I wet it, and then I get a little bit of this and I dab it wherever I need to the next day, it dries up. It has made a huge difference. I do not mess with any other like acne stuff. I've tried something, eh, I'm just not. It doesn't work the same way this does. This is it tea tree oil and it was weird because when I first started buying it was like $3.99 now they're like $10 but they last forever forever I still have this much because you just need a tiny little bit just dab it on it stinks but it 
your skin well, thank you. It sucks out all the bacteria and you're good to go. I only do it at nighttime, sometimes during the day, but not really. And your skin will get dry, like that area. So just be a little careful when you use that. Like I recommend a lot of, like a lot of things I recommend, try a little spot first before you go all, all out everywhere. Now, this is another item that I do after I wash my face, um, before bedtime. I don't do this during the day. This is, I think I mentioned this before, it is the most amazing $10 ever. It's the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Mud Mask. Well, it's not Mud Mask. It is a Indian Healing Clay, world's most powerful facial, deep pore cleaning, cleaning. Like, no joke, your face will pulsate and it'll be red and it'll be amazing after. So, Super cheap, you can get this at Amazon. Like I said, this is $10. There's nothing else in here except calcium benetite clay. Take this, I put it in a Ziploc bag, a little bit, a little bit of apple cider and a little bit of water and I like mush it together and then I paint my face with it, avoiding this area right here. And then it, it like so, basic, basically it vacuums up all the bad stuff in your skin and then you are supposed to like kind of flake it off and wipe it down as much as you can with like a wet paper towel because you don't want it to clog your drains. Read the information, the reviews on Amazon. I think there's like 8,000 positive reviews on this stuff. And my friend introduced this to me. I will not go back to anything else because one, it's inexpensive. It's 100% calcium natural benetite argo. And then it says like a whole bunch of stuff on here, what you could do, body wraps, acne, and all that stuff. But this right here will dry out your acne. It will pull out stuff from your nose. This right here, you can buy five of these for like one jar of Glam Glow. I bought Glam Glow. I used it once. And I just thought, this is so expensive. This is not doing anything different than anything else I've tried. You know, it comes in the most fanciest packaging ever. And I think this does the same thing, maybe even better. I personally use this right here. I love it. And that's all there is to it. Sometimes, if you use it with just water, which is what I did first, it gets a little bit um, clumpy, it gets a little clumpy. And then you got like weird clumps. It doesn't matter, it still works. And then your nose is all clean and clear, pores, now, if you have really bad blackheads like I do, what I do is right after this, maybe the next day, depending on how sensitive you are, I use this right here. This is the Biore Charcoal Pore Strips. This is a new one. And I think it's like fabric or something. What does it say? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say, but it's like fabric. Cause back in the day I used to use this Bosha, the black strips. And you know what, I get more, Add the adhesive stuff on my nose than the actual product being pulled out of my nose. But with this one, I really like. I think it works. There's only six of them in there. But I feel like the, when you have this, it pulls up everything to the surface. And they're like ready to go. And then I use this. Or I use this guy. This is my tweezer man thing and bobber. Because you could literally see all that gross stuff. And I'm like, just kind of scraping that stuff out. I know some people are really um, timid with this and they just don't want to try it. So if you have really bad uh, blackheads, this guy right here, amazing. Okay, so the next thing that I do is, depending, like if, okay, so I rinse all this out, done, and then I do my moisturizer and all that stuff. My face will be red, I'll go to bed, and then in the morning it's fine. It's because it's pulling all of, um, all the blood and everything like that is just pulling, pulsating, and everything like that on your face. So don't be alarmed, your face is all red and patchy. Just don't do it during the day, or if you do, put your makeup on after that. But I don't, I just go to bed in the morning, I'm like, oh, glowing. Okay, so the next thing I do, cuticle oil on my nails. My nails are really short right now. Um, I chopped them off, but they were so long. I'll have to show you a picture. They were really nice and long, but I just can't do anything with long nails. I can't type, I, I just can't do anything. I'm like totally useless. So what I do is I always want to use cuticle oil at night. Now this will help your nails and your cuticle area. This one here is from Violet Voss. It smells like pineapples. It's really good, but 
you can use any cuticle oil around your nail beds and then you don't get those little hang nails and you just see that two seconds and then it helps your nails become like more moisturized because the more brittle your nails are then they're gonna crack and break and all of that so you want to keep them nice and moisturized then I have been using this this is the EOS lemon drop I really like EOS they're they're fun you know and this one right here is nice it's, it has a SPF 15 which I don't need at night but it's just so good it reminds me of lemon cake so if you like lemon cake this one you don't like lemon cake coconut or strawberry I think my car's pomegranate yeah in the car I have a pomegranate one and it hasn't melted so that's awesome now the last thing that I've been trying is the castor oil uh, I think this one came from Whole Foods and I've been trying it on my bottom lashes because I want them to grow and I watched this YouTube video where this girl had the most amazing lashes so I've been using this use a tiny tiny little bit right underneath and it hasn't affected my vision. I wake up in the morning with extra goopy eyes, so that's kind of eh. But then I shower or whatever, you know, wash my face, and then I'm better. So hopefully my long lashes will come in soon. If not, then I'll let you guys know. But I've been trying that. I use a little Q-tip or even... I have lint on my arm. I was like, is that a bug? Okay, so those are my favorite items. Now I showed you guys a lot of stuff. Uh, Definitely, I highly recommend is this right here, Amazon. There's like different size. I think there's like a two pound one. I've used this so much. And I've only really gotten through this much here. So not a lot to use a little bit it is an amazing mask. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited about it. And then definitely the tea tree oil. If you don't have acne, you don't have to get this. But I think if you have acne or like, um, pimples definitely try it acne pimples try them and then this right here if you're trying to get your teeth whitened because it's so great for sensitive teeth and you don't get any of those weird red sores are so gross and it's minty fresh so coupon code below for this and then if you do have blackheads and some people say oh i have blackheads but they don't come out you gotta do it after a hot or a warm shower and you look in the mirror and you see all that stuff that's when you gotta attack you can't just like put cold water because your pores are closing. You gotta open them up and then suck out that gross stuff. So I highly recommend this one right here. And this right here has toner. I just I I just can't I can't use other stuff when there's something that's $1.99 that works great, right? Okay, so that's it. I'm Lisa. Thank you so much for watching my nighttime routine products. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. This is this is how I look most of the time. Like, I don't really wear too much makeup, especially now. Um, there are some things that I'm absolutely crazy about, like the Benefit. Uh, I just got a new one. It has SPF 30. I think it's BB cream. And it's, like, flat. But then I bought light, and then I went to the beach two times. I'm so tan. I can't tell, but, like, can you see my, my uh, flip-flop tan? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's like I was only out for an hour, I swear. But anyway, um, I'm really crazy about that. So, so I've been using that during the day. And that's it. I'm Elisa. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more of these kind of jib-jab videos. And comment below what your nighttime products that you absolutely recommend. And hopefully I can try it out. Thanks, guys. Bye.